Greetings from my infirmary. We will be presenting this case of soft posterior subcapsular cataract in a young diabetic patient, being taken up for supranasal manual SICS. The surgery was taken up with our routine steps and protocols as explained in previous videos. In this video, we will discuss a few points to take care to bring out extremely good post-OP result the next day. The result that is desired by any cataract surgeon who cannot afford femto machines or high-end phaeco emulsification systems. Number 1, Know your SIA for all the incisions at all the axes. Place the incision on steep axis sizing it according to the pre-existing astigmatism. Always discuss the needs of the patient. In this case, we are operating the right eye and targeting emetropia. Number 2, Cauterize the major blood vessels. Continuous ooze disturbs the surgical field and the eye is more red the next day. Do not try to cauterize the sclera. Just target the vessels. Number 3, Keep an adequate rhexis size. This will prevent many complications pertaining to a soft cataract. The ease of prolapse of the lens matter is good. There is no fluid entrapment and capsular blowout. One can make an oval rhexis as well. In this case, in spite of good rhexis, the soft lens matter denied to engage and prolapse, so nucleus tumbling again came to the rescue, which is safer to perform than to fiddle with lens matter in the bag. Note that there should be an adequate rhexis before you perform this maneuver. Most importantly, surgeons have always complained that post-operative reaction is more after manual SICS. The main reason that we have found is the injury to the iris, especially the part under the incision by the instruments. Under no circumstances, your instruments should touch the iris under the incision. In phaeco emulsification with clear corneal incisions, the angle of phaeco handpiece is such that it doesn't disturb the iris on its way. In manual SICS with sclera corneal incisions, when you touch the iris with instruments, cannulae, nucleus, or IOL, the pupil tries to become oval and the reaction is more. Although this oval pupil becomes round in 48 to 72 hours and reaction goes down by day 5, the post-OP result in manual SICS on day 1 is not as satisfying if the iris has been touched. During IOL implantation also, keep in mind not to injure the iris under the incision by using adequate amount of viscoelastics. Do not rub the iris with irrigation aspiration cannula to bring out the cortical matter or visco beneath it. Do not leave even a single chunk of cortex in the bag. Cortical remnants are a big source of reaction and corneal edema in initial cases. If you take care of these points, manual SICS is an artist's surgery with excellent outcomes which are very predictable, and will give you equivalent results on day one. In this case, the pre-existing corneal astigmatism was 1.25 diopters. Day one acceptance was plus 0.50 diopters at 50 degrees. Final vision at one week was unaided 6 sixths with acceptance of plus 0.25 cylinder. Enjoy the video.